my son. Oh my God! No, he's, he's That's getting, holier than the Sistine Chapel. He's got trouble with his feet, hasn't he? Can't oh, keep no. them out of the kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> A few months ago, I bought five cars for £10,000 from a young guy, Alex, whose dad had very unfortunately suddenly passed away. The family were keen to get the cars gone, so we headed to Dorset, loaded up a few trailers and headed home. After which the cars, in their various states of disrepair, were fixed up and sold on as part of my trading up to a 993 series. The transporter went to Taylor, the Daimler went to Robin from Viking Detail, the Brian James trailer was sold to a friend of Taylor's, the MGF went to Mike Fernie, and the big Mercedes S600 was sold recently to photographer Thomas Howarth. That left one car on the table, namely an L322 Range Rover that was parked up somewhere in Wales. Keen to get it looked at, I asked Bigfoot Transport to get it back to Tom Lenthal's workshop for us to look it over. And speaking of Tom's place, you rejoined the action four months ago in December. And this is it, this is the Range Rover Vogue that none of you guys have seen, that I haven't seen for a while, and that has been sitting, yeah. Tom, at and your I, workshop for quite I, a while. And I've seen too much of it. You have indeed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As so usual. <laughs> up until, up until um, the classic motor show at the NEC, you told me this was scrap, get rid of it for a grand, and that was going to be my plan. And then everything it, changed, didn't it? Because it did, yeah. We met Alex yeah. for the first time, and we saw how much seeing his dad's S600 meant to him. We're in the process of yeah. trying to get that fixed at the moment. But the plan <laughs> is, sell the S600, whatever profit I make on that doesn't go towards trading up to a 993, put the money back into this big old piece of shit, and then we're gonna tart it up, and then we're gonna come for Alex. Not like, come for you, but we're gonna drop it off to you and uh, give you back your dad's old Range Rover in working condition, because at the moment it's very sore. Yeah, it needs a little bit of attention, I think it's fair to say. So you've got a list. I have got a list, yeah. Do you want to talk us through it? Right, can I go and get it? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is really so, <laughs> Tom, you're supposed to be ready. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be fresh. Uh, okay, to start with, we've got a list of uh, mechanical things, which I'm really not too worried about, yeah. because they're all pretty straightforward to do. So, excessive travel in the, in the foot pedal. The brakes are corroded, so we're going to need disc pads. We might have a seized caliper or two, so we might need some calipers. I think you've got some wheels and tyres, which you're going to... From a P38. Yeah, we're going to swap, swap them around. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. get some tyres from Tire Streets UK. All these bits, or as many as bits as possible, we're going to get from Febby as well. Yeah, Febby's going to help us out. Yeah. The rest of the suspension needs a bit of attention, so there's some bushes that we need on the rear hubs. Okay, yeah. Uh, front lower arms, and then yep. we'll have to do a full alignment. We've got no rear lights. Most of the front lights aren't working, but as you can see... Oh, oh for crying out. I am never going to financially recover from this. So mechanically, we've got some problems. Nothing too scary. When I was driving it down the road the other day, the gearbox felt a little bit laggy. It was slow to respond. Yeah. How much is a gearbox for one of these? Oh, you don't even want to go there. You don't even want to go there. More, more than your budget. So look, there's a, there's a lot to do. Yep. Um, you're going to do the cosmetics. Yep, yep. So um, Alex is going to... Not me, not me. Well, I can't no. actually reach the roof. But Robin from Viking Detail, I've actually yeah. already messaged him. Do we so, want to have a look in at the interior state? At the no, it's... No, we, we shouldn't. No, no, no it's, fi it's really fine. No, it's fine. It's... Oh, shit. Look at the mould in there. You've got to get rid of that. That's that's bad mould. That is nice. Fortunately, we... your man from, what's his, Viking? Viking detail, yeah. Yeah, I reckon he'll have something to kill that off and make it smell he nice. He will, fire. Are you going to do one of your super duper headlinings? I think we now, might. Now that you are now officially a trimmer. <laughs> yeah, I'm an upholsterer. An upholsterer. I can there give anyone the snip. I might even <laughs> um, line it in leather, like hot purple leather, something, you know, just a bit, you know, pimp my ride style. Yeah. Oh. Just put my personality, no? Okay. But yeah, everything, yeah. everything works as it should. Before we continue looking around, grab yourself a beer because the financial mistake that Rory will be making later on in this episode is best enjoyed with a cold one. But wait, you don't have any interesting beers in the fridge? With St. Patrick's Day around the corner, you need to fix that. And what better way than with my friends Beer 52, who will send you a pack of 10 amazing beers free of charge. 
All you need to do is go to beer52.com forward slash auto Alex and cover just £5.95 postage. Which you'll definitely want to do because Beer 52 offer the ultimate immersive beer drinking experience. And this month they're showcasing the world's best independent breweries with an exclusive selection of beers from 10 different countries, including Sweden, Belgium and the USA. To kick you off, we've got Mechanical Engineers Merseloytl IPA. That's a smooth and flavorful juice bomb with a gentle bitterness. Also included is a hoppy lager from craft beer legends Omnipolo, and a dynamic porter from Spain's highest rated brewery Baskland. If you don't like dark beer, just choose the light case and don't forget you get a couple of tasty snacks, as well as the award-winning Ferment magazine. Even if after all of that you're still unsatisfied, you can cancel or pause at any time. So go to beer52.com forward slash auto Alex to claim your free case now. That is beer52.com forward slash auto Alex. Cheers. Notice the wing mirror is a little bit floppy as well. Yeah, it retracts at speed. Does it? For uh, fuel economy. Uh, but yeah, at the front of the motor vehicle, you've got mm. the finest engine ever made. Yeah, BMW's we need the M57. bonnet stay. Yeah. Um, it needs a little bit of a clean underneath oh, there as well. Oh, Robin from Viking Detail. You don't know it yet, but you've got this to do as well. This looks oh. disgusting. So engine wise, yeah. we don't quite know, but it's an M57. I mean, look, it runs, it starts, it drives. Okay. The engine seemed okay. It was a little bit smoky when I first started out, but then that might be something to do with the glow plug system. And yep. by the time I'd, um, Got a couple of hundred yards down the road, it would uh, cleared off a bit. So okay. hopefully that's not going to cause right. us any problems. Cool. So, but body wise, hmm. I don't see any massive scratches or cracks in the bumpers or the body. I don't no. see any rust. What you mean, like this crack it? Oh. <laughs> you mean like that bit there? <laughs> but you can get some very, very, very nice, reasonably priced aftermarket jazzy front grill so there you go is that what you're going to gift to the project <laughs> i'm gifting i'm gifting me all right should we get this in the air yeah come on let's stick it up in the air yeah because i think reese wants to get to his toolbox anyway i just love how agricultural it is under here it has got one area of rot actually which you might have to do something about on one of the back wheel arches there's a there is a bit of a hole which is a common place for it to rot anyway but one okay. of them's like lightly corroded and one of them's actually got a bit of a hole in it but well let's add that to the list as well yeah yeah yeah. then we'll put a little something in there but, but... it's dry yeah but look at look at this suspension i was looking it's been sat in a field isn't it that is nice look at those calipers look how rusty they are so i've got a funny feeling that they're these are all going to be Pretty much seized. We've got new drive shafts on the front there, right? Yeah, yeah, someone has put some effort into it somewhere down the line. Oh, that is so rusty though. Yeah, yeah, no, it is rusty. That looks like yeah. it's been at the bottom of the sea. Yeah, so on the back here, we've got some hub bushes. I think it's the top hub bushes that are a bit worn out up here. But again, you know, it's the it's the, the calipers are all corroded and stuff. Yeah. And I, I think they're going to cause us problems. And we've also got um, the, the metal brake pipes uh, corroded on this. So we're going to have to replace those as well for the MOT. Okay. So, yeah. but, um, air suspension. Air suspension's working. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bags seem to be okay. I'm hoping that the gearbox... Well, see, I sit there and hope that it's just a little bit low on oil, so... So would it be worth giving this a uh, full we'll, service? We'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll drain all the oil out, stick a new filter in it and, okay. um, yeah, do that. And then hopefully that will get rid of that slight gearbox issue that I had. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. So it's not all doom and gloom, but it will no. cost an amount. All you've got to do is find me a ton of parts. Yep. A ton, a ton of money. Of money. <laughs> <laughs> and then away we and go. And away we go, All yeah, right. exactly. Happy days, yeah. happy days. All right, Tom. All right, no worries. This car's in very good hands, so... Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do indeed. So it is a few months later. We are now in Scotland on a completely separate road trip with our £1,000 most unreliable cars. And um, yeah, we're back at it. So uh, a couple of days ago, Rory spotted something on eBay. Why don't you tell everyone what you spotted? Um, so I found a Range Rover L322. Uh, it's 2004, so it's got the same engine. It is blue, and it also looks like it's got the same blue interior as well with the cream uh, piping. Because the thing is, uh, there's a Rush. lot of stuff that is wrong on, on Alex's There, there was a I lot know. of broken bits and yeah. yeah, like lights weren't in good nick, the interior. So we can literally just rip all of these parts out of here. Yeah. Door cards, I think even the door cards had all gone mouldy and it was just horrible. Just all the easy stuff to swap over, we can literally just take it straight off. And the one less thing we haven't mentioned is, 
Uh, it's an eBay auction. Yeah. Um, and there is currently how long time? Three left? minutes and 30 seconds left on it. Uh, the car is actually situated an hour south uh, of where we are. And we are like in Scotland, Scotland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we need to get this and then pick it up and then take it with us. We'll just drive it tomorrow back. Tomorrow yeah, or yeah. the day after. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Current bidding is... Twelve hundred and twenty pounds. Would you reckon fifteen hundred quid? Yeah, I think so. Look, you know, if, if I can rob everything off of that and turn uh, Alex's car into a car that um, I can MOT and sort out, and I can spin it around in a couple of days, you're putting two grand. What do you reckon? And then we'll get it. I'll, I'll put two grand in when it's got thirty seconds. Oh, so you're going to bid snipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, yeah. But there's no way. No, well, I say there's no way anyone's going to ever put in yeah. a higher bid of. But ideally, we'll get it for twelve hundred and thirty quid. <laughs> okay, right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thirty-five, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one. Review bid. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, no, oh no, no, no! Oh, we should have done this earlier. Come on. Oh no! Come on. Why, come why is this doing this? Get on your laptop. Get on your laptop. I, there's no time. There is literally no time. Oh, for crying out loud! What? Just whatever! No! For f sake. Were you signed in? Yeah, yeah, I'm signed in. It's, the internet's gone. Sorry, Alex, we were going to get that one, but now we have to go to uh, Plan B. I don't know what that is yet, but it's going to involve this man. <laughs> it's, I bet someone's downloading or something or whatever. It's f the internet's just gone. Where's Aiden? Young Aiden. He's probably looking at porn, isn't he? However, after the disaster that was our failed eBay bid, there was still hope. Because after sending a cheeky message, we got a reply from the Range Rover owner, and it came with a telephone number. Hello. Hello there. Uh, we've been speaking on eBay about your lovely Range Rover. Yes. How are you doing? You're right. My name's Alex. All right, Alex. My name's Martin. Hello, Martin. Um, yeah. Obviously, we missed out on the on the eBay listing, but we did try to bid but then the Wi-Fi went out, so we were very disappointed about that. We would love to make something work because because we're doing it for a really, really good cause. Well, to be honest with you, it hasn't sold because I wasn't going to let it go that cheap. So. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So what, what kind of price would you be happy with or were you hoping with? I was hoping to get two grand for it. It's worth two grand all day long. I mean, what's your good cause? Tell me. So I actually run a YouTube channel. Right. And we just really need a car um, that we can kind of use to help us in this kind of mission of getting Alex, his dad's car, back on the road. That's cool. 1,800 quid, it's yours. Hold out your hand. Let's do a, <laughs> let's do a deal. <laughs> let's do a deal, Martin. I've got a receipt here that I'll show how much it cost me about two months ago for two and a half grand. Oh, have you just given up on it now? No, I've got 30 plus cars. I live in a giant house in the middle of the countryside and I'm thinking of going and playing about on a yacht in the Caribbean instead. Fantastic. Have a, have a right clear out. So Fantastic. Got... I think we're all going to get on like a house on fire, to be oh, honest. Yeah. But for now, we're going to say yes to the Range Rover. And if it's all right with you, can we have a little poke around and, yeah, and maybe cool. maybe yeah. see uh, if we can do, do a deal on a few other bits, potentially? You, know, you never know. You, you never, never know. know. Excellent. Well, I'm going to have uh, the rest of the evening watching uh, also Alex cars. Fantastic. There you go. I'm the short one. But yeah, fantastic. Thanks very much. Have a great Sunday and we will see you tomorrow. Look forward to it, mate. All you take right. care. Cheers, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Well, <laughs> f*** me. Hasn't that worked out well? Unbelievable. Fair play. <laughs> Fair play. That was very, very, and to very the, good. And to the eBay buyer who won that car legitimately, hmm. f*** you. <laughs> <laughs>is now the next day and as you can see we've got a new best friend martin we've made it to you oh, yeah, yeah yeah you are the current owner slash former owner of this lovely range rover this hangover <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah martin obviously invited us down we're gonna collect this but before we do that obviously we're gonna have a poke around this place because it is amazing martin like i think you have lived you really have lived we'll try you? not to do it by halves <laughs> <laughs> so should we have a quick poke around the range rover yeah, yeah. and then we're actually going to be driving this back down to uh reading tomorrow so marvelous yeah. yeah and and i also said to martin it's got 12 months mot with no advisories is it a moody mot he said no you, you don't have a man over the phone that does it no, no, no. Oh, that's good. Do you want a man? I mean, he is blind, my emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we start it up? See how she runs? Go for it. 
Oh, oh that sounds all right. It's on the button. There's nothing wrong with it, guys. I told you. <gasps> and and we've got three quarters of a tank. Oh, Martin. Oh, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to invoice you for that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Is Tom, it? I found why the air suspension doesn't work. Oh, there's an airbag, airbag in the airbag boat. In the oh. There's two, <laughs> two spares. So will this get us back to Reading? Yes. You reckon, yeah? Yes, yes. Right. Good, yes, good. those AA recovery trucks are great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, obviously, we're going to take this deal done. But for now, there is so much interesting stuff. Should we have a poke around? Who wants yeah. to have a poke around? Yeah. yeah. Where's good to look first, Martin? Where cool. can you lead us to? Well, we can have a look down at the bottom here at yeah. my workshop. Oh, on, yeah. This is like an episode of The Bearded Explorer. <laughs> What's in here then, Martin? Well, basically this is my workshop, but the walls, the walls are closing in. Oh, wow. Look at the beetle. Inside. You can almost tell a proper workshop with a good old proper engineer when you have a shadow tool board. Yeah, you know, all nailed up and everything's all <laughs> organised and everything like that. Sometimes the just need tools to... actually end up on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Depends how much you've had to drink that night. <laughs> well, <Wow. laughs> what else have we got, Martin? Oh god! And everything's for sale. Apparently, everything you can see is. Sold. I just want to have a good clear out. Oh, look at the one two five. How much would you sell this for? Martin? Eighteen hundred quid. Six thousand miles. If you so Gareth used to have this. And then he sold it. I'll I sold used to I used to have a KTM Duke. Oh, really? One two five, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Does it still run? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, battery's probably a bit flat at the moment, but yeah, it runs a no bother. It's, Rory, it you runs like a this. bloody new bike, mate. Rory, you, you won't, won't buy, buy this. this. Would this fit around right the back of the area? Yeah, of course yeah, it would. Of course it would. You haven't got the guts to buy this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Martin, how about how about this in the Range Rover, and then this is fifteen hundred quid. How about no? <laughs> Too shy. Too shy. Oh, 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 what have we got next, How Martin? about no? <laughs> I like this sprinter. This is nice. You are just weird, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> you like that sprinter. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we can put your 1,300 quid motorbike we in the could, back of this could. when we leave. Yeah, 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 we found a motorbike somewhere to pick up as well. <laughs> Rory, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. trying. <laughs> oh, he's looking again. Can I have a little sit on it, Martin? Of course you can. How much would you take for it, Martin? 15 if you want it. B deal. Oh, deal. we've done a deal! <laughs> yes! I'm going to miss that thing. If it, if it runs, I'll, I'll take it off your hands, 1,500 quid. If we can get it into the back How do I let you room. rich buggers make myself shoot we are not myself rich. in the foot? <laughs> you you calling us rich? Look, you live in a f <laughs> Tom, have a, have a quick look over it. Still, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he, spent, he spent far too much time with us. <laughs> Tom, is, it, is this worth 1,500 quid? I don't know, because it's not really my bag, It's got to it? be, Rory, surely. Yeah, I think... Um, I think Can Gareth... we actually get this in the back of the Range Rover? Yeah. No, if not, we'll put it in the back of my Alpha. No, just, just drive it back. <laughs> Guys, there's a battery there and there's some jump leads. And there's a key. Right. All right. I'm not selling you cheap shit. I'm working for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So you're, you're a bike expert, right? Oh, such I a bike expert. I have a expert. question. Yes. How, how does one go about category d -ing a bike? Is this category D? It is a category D. Oh, oh Martin. Oh, Martin. Martin. I'm glad. Right I'm glad you don't want it now. It was, it was rebuilt in... And, uh, was it rebuilt because it was crashed though? Martin? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we push that even to the workshop? Yes, the light, why so don't you see. do that? Get it inside yeah. in the light. <laughs> That's why Tom's here. He has good ideas. Brum, 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 brum. Oh, those brakes are a bit tight. Same. Rory, are you still interested in this? I am interested in it, but it is a Cat D now. What price would you be happy with? 1,500 quid. Oh, still? Still. As a Cat D. Wow, you are a hard man to bargain with. No, I can't go and buy one of those tomorrow for 1,500 quid, no matter what it was. You could if it was a Cat D. <laughs> I'll find one. <laughs> oh, oh, hey! <laughs> Is this bringing back memories, Rory? So I had the older version of this. Did so, you? Yeah, yeah. This one's much better. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not so sure. So Martin, what? What are we no. looking at price-wise? I've just told you. Oh, you so got, I, have you got Alzheimer's? I've got very selective hearing. So what would you offer, Martin? And then we can all just move on from this. Look, 1,200 quid, Martin. No. Hold out your hand. Not a chance. Oh, come on. No. Go on, then. <laughs> yes! Oh, my God! Yeah, well done, well done! Oh, Martin, well done. <laughs> Just add it to my stash. Like. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you can buy yourself a motorbike. I want to buy Martin's coat now. <laughs> That's going to cost you about five grand. <laughs> well, Martin, you know, there will be one deciding factor. What's that? If will it fit in the back of a Range Rover boat? I hope oh, it will. <laughs> if it doesn't, then I'll have to buy a van. So you will have to buy a van. <laughs> But before we attempted to load Rory's new bike into the back of the Range Rover, Martin took us to see some of his other unique vehicles. Oh, oh you'll like this. Come on. This actually looks in good nick. It, it's in great nick. It's just <gasps> my son. <laughs> oh my God. No, a, he said it needed a bit of welding. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> it's uh, standard, oh standard chimney oh interior. Hey, no! Okay, I've just decided I don't want to buy it. <laughs> that is something else. That's holier than the Sistine Chapel. Martin, I'll give you 50 quid for it. Taylor, he's got about five grand in one pocket, a gun in the other. Don't <laughs> f*** <it. laughs> Have you seen the Bedford van round here? Look. Have you seen oh, the Jag? No, the drag. Oh, my God, the Jag. <laughs> the Jag. Oh, look at the Jag, Jay. The last time that Jag was on the road... Years ago. ...was <laughs> when I was in Ireland visiting Shane McGowan, who recently died in yeah. Tipperary. And I came back from Ireland with a hangover that took me three weeks to get over. <laughs> and that Jag's only moved once since from the house to here. And it was looking a little bit ropey then, but now it's just beyond it. Was did, a did tank you... full of whiskey? No, we were. Cochin. <laughs> yeah. Wait, if this starts on the button, you have to buy it, Luke. Oh. Oh. It's not on the button. If it don't start again, it's for free. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget. I make button. the rules around here, Taylor. <laughs> Just a pre-warning, I have just shit. Oh, for f***'s sake. Oh, my word. Oh. Right, right, everyone evacuate. <laughs> what, did you, what did you feed him on? He's got trouble with his feet, hasn't he? Can't keep them out of the kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have had a laugh, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, it's been good to see you guys. We're going to have yeah. a bit more of a laugh. Oh, shit, we've got to put the yeah. motorbike in the Range Rover. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh. Shall, shall, shall we that? back the Range Rover down to the workshop so we can see the carnage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Yeah, let's do good that. Good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, let's do that. <laughs> OK. Aidan, is this a terrible decision? Oh, it's a horrendous decision, Roy. It's funny, isn't it? I mean, it is funny, but it is terrible, isn't it? Like, A, it's a 2013 plate, but... Well, no, it's a 2012 plate, but the model of the actual bike I believe they didn't bring those out until like 2017 or something, 2018. Do you feel like this is dodgy, Rory? Oh, f***ing dodgy. It's like the dodgiest thing I've done. And I've done a lot of stuff with Taylor and Alex. <laughs> What's happened? So the VIN is not there. Right. Is it stolen? I think this is stolen. Oh, nice. Tom, how do you feel about driving back to Reading with a boot open? I'm just hoping it doesn't fit. Because I'm going to miss my little bike. <laughs> Are we sure it's yours? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, let's get this f***ing thing in. <laughs> oh, wait. wait. Oh, shit, oh, you run my foot over. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, fella. Three, Three two, one! Get <laughs> Go back on. Get back on. Oh, oh yeah, this yeah. is going to fit. All right, and then if you take one handlebar side, I'll take the other. Uh, what have right. I done? <laughs> Oh, with, whoa, with... whoa, 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 watch out. Oh, <gasps> cool. oh shit. Tom, push the back arse over that way a bit. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, yeah. Perfect. There There's, you go, Tom. Rory's crashed his motorbike, look. Would you like a ratchet strap? It's been double crashed. <laughs> Rory, it's in. Is that in? If you, if you take that down. <laughs> Is that in? <laughs> what? Rory, look, we oh, can just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, girl. 
Go on, girl. Oh. Oh, I don't believe you only need a few more inches. Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> right, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I bought a motorbike. <laughs> Now loaded up with our new purchases, we were ready to hit the road. But before we headed off, Martin invited us in to have a look around his manor, which, as it turned out, was as unique as it was surprising. Would you like to meet Rambo? Who's what? Rambo? Hey, Rambo. Come oh. and say hello. Come here, then. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, come on, oh wow. Hello, Rambo. You good boy. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. 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 So after meeting Rambo, it was time to say our goodbyes and head back home after what had been, by far, the best and most interesting car and unexpected motorbike purchase experience any of us had ever had. Join us next time when the clock is ticking to get Alex's Range Rover fixed up and delivered back. But not before a stupid mistake by me puts the whole project into complete jeopardy. What have you just done? Okay, so I've just f***ed up. This and more coming up.